hello good day my subscribers my name is joseph ocheme the content creator of fullness of channel so i'm about to show you uh, an interesting um, way of operating this design so i power a one horsepower motor a, and also a 2.5 horsepower electric motor but in a dc form i powered everything and i was charging an extra battery for free and only what i was using from the battery amps was only one battery amps I've told you guys that there are two types of amps. There's AC amps and there's a DC amps. So if you are to get the particular amps, if it's a battery amps, once you check the amps, you will time it times the number of the voltage of the battery for you to know the watts. If it is if you are checking an AC amps, you have to times the um, amps of the AC times the voltage coming in. That is when you can know the actual amps and uh, volume. For you to be able to know the actual watts coming out from the system so all these things that is here let me show you the device so i can explain quickly so here's the design there's no wire connected anywhere you can see the whole setup from the top view so you guys can view from the top view there is nothing attached anywhere there is nothing attached anywhere and there is no hidden component so here is a um, the battery that is going to power this um, small inverter right here so this is my circuit board right here so here is a DC supply from the circuit board and this circuit board right here is charging this battery for free it's charging this battery for free so you can charge your phones and other things without affecting anything so here is a charge effectively so here is a, a 2.5 horsepower DC motor can see 2.5 horsepower 10 amps 480 volts as you can see so here is the wire positive and negative connected down here connected down here so there is the supply so i'm going to power everything at once everything is going to spin at once so i'm no longer using the manual startup in my former video and for clarity please if you've not subscribed to this video kindly click the link below so you can subscribe to these videos to see more of my videos which i post from time to time there is also another youtube page which i have the name of the youtube page page is joseph ocheme official joseph ocheme officials please go to the video go to the youtube channel and subscribe to see more so let's start everything up so where is it so we are starting with this small inverter so once i on everything everything is going to on everything is going to on and here is a clamp meter also here is a clamp meter let's set our clamp meter to to this to this um to the side of the battery right here so we'll put our clamp meter right there and we'll on it zero amps so when i on it you will see the starting amps once i on it right here you will see put your eyes on the meter So everything is being powered on. So this is what it is consuming. 0 0.8. 0 0.8, 0 0.9. Let's just say approximately one amp. So this thing is using around um let's just say um 15 watts. 15 watts to power this electric motor right now. So the two motors are spinning. They are spinning accurately, and I, if I apply a load here, you see? so that is when it, it begins to climb up. So this thing can, has a greater power that can spin accurately. So here is the socket, and this battery is also charging for free. This battery is also charging for free. This is the amps it's consuming. One point one. 1.1 amps so this is how this whole setup this one is spinning for free this one is also spinning it's also charging a battery all with just one amp one dc amp so that is how it was it now let us let us check um let us check how many amps it is consuming on dc on ac sorry
on AC it is consuming 0 0.7 sorry it is consuming 0 0.7 0 0.7 but right here on the battery arms directly it is consuming I'm sorry there's a mistake here remember it is this small battery powering this whole stuff so at the 1.1 yeah this is the real this is the amp 0 0.3 0 0.3 0 0.3 for the AC why Why 1.0? That is one amp for the battery. While uh, 0 0.3. So the system is still working with this same small battery. This is a battery of 7 ampere. And this is the electric motor of. Just like how I told in my video. So here is the setup powering. So there is no hidden cable anywhere and this is an effective system that you can use to power greater loads just with only 15 watts 15 watts on the battery i'm doing all this setup here i'm also charging a battery yeah thanks for watching this video um please kindly subscribe to this video right here uh, to this youtube channel and uh, also go to joseph ocheme officials you will see my videos there so this is a picture you will see joseph ocheme official kindly subscribe so you can see most of my educative videos which i post there so if you are interested in an online training many people have been calling many people have been applying so if you are if you want to apply for the paid online training it's actually a paid online training call the numbers on your screen and if you are led to support this program of ours in this work please you can call the numbers on your screen to call so uh, account numbers can be sent to you to support um, what we are doing the free energy research we are doing every day many people have sponsored this program and uh, the results have been have been coming so greatly and i appreciate my, my supporters um, who have supported financially so if you want to apply for the training and also if you want to support please kindly call the numbers on your screen and kindly email also to us god bless you amen